Officials at West Star Aviation are trying to accommodate a growing demand for their services. They plan to add 40,000 square feet of hangar space in a project that's expected to create dozens of new job opportunities. Our Kieran Nigro shows you why this is happening and what it will entail. We are, uh, we're running at about 385,000 square feet total facilities right now. And we're operating out of nine hangars. This will be hangar number 10. Just recently, West Star Aviation announced its plan for the construction of a new hangar at its full service maintenance repair and overhaul facility adjacent to the Grand Junction Airport. Vice President and General Manager for West Star, Scott Sweeney, tells me they need to build this new facility because the demand is beyond what they can handle. So today, uh, I can only take so many airplanes with the, with the space and capacity that we have, and literally the demand uh, exceeds what we have. Sweeney says the demand is so great because they're a one-stop shop, meaning the West Star here in Grand Junction does it all. We'll do aircraft maintenance, uh, interior modifications, avionics upgrades, and then uh, full paint as, as well. The building of this new hangar will create about 80 to 100 new jobs. It's all facets. I'll, I'll need uh, project management, um, program type management, uh, a lot of technical uh, help. Uh, our technicians are the uh, are the backbone of this company. GJEP's executive director tells me when a new business, operation, or project is introduced, you're normally not allowed to have more than one incentive package, but an exception was made for this project. The governor of Colorado thought that this project was so well worth it that he actually signed a waiver to allow for both incentive packages to be approved. Westar will break ground on this project in January of 2025 and will have it complete sometime in 2026. Kieran Nigro, KREX News. Thank you, Karen. The project will cost just north of $26 million, with most of it being funded by the company itself.